and welcome back to my YouTube channel, little cutie. I am so over the moon. I'm a newer YouTuber and so all the little milestones mean so much to me. And I have reached, with the help of you guys, over 4,000 views on one of my videos and I couldn't be more excited. It's the little things. Cause that to me just feels huge. Cause the most views I've ever gotten on one video was like 2000. So I have like doubled that and I am just so stoked. Okay, anywho, today we're gonna be talking about the weird sideways energy new parents in the newer generation are receiving from older parents and the older generations. I'm talking about the aunties, okay? What is going on with the aunties? I saw a video talking about this where she was she was literally saying that. She was like, what is going on with the aunties? Like, why are they making these weird, passive, aggressive, like just super patronizing, weird comments towards newer moms? It's like, shouldn't you know what we're going through as newer moms and be more supportive and make kind comments and like i don't know not be weird i'm going to share with you guys some of my weird experiences that i've had with this the older generation needs to stop if you're part of the older generation and seeing this really do a deep dive see where your comments are stemming from if you're not making these comments thank you thank you if you see a newer mom or a newer dad say something kind or nothing at all right okay this has been a highly requested video on my channel and so i'm just gonna dive into some of the weird comments that i've received and some of the weird comments that my friends have received as newer moms that we are just so bewildered like where is this coming from so it all began when I was pregnant, right? That's when the comments began. So I was actually bartending when I was pregnant with my son up until like uh, the last couple months of my pregnancy. And so it was already hard enough. My ankles were swollen. I had really excruciating back pain because of my, it was sacroiliac pain. I don't know if any of you have experienced that being pregnant, but the pain is real. So you're already in pain carrying all of this weight, ankles hurt, knees hurt, hips hurt. You can barely breathe. I would be serving tables like, <gasps> like out of breath, like literally like about to pass out. And then I would receive the comments from the older generation. Never the newer generation, always the older generation. When I'm already struggling, trying to work, and it was summer when I was pregnant. It was like fucking peak summer. I was sweating my balls off, literally struggling so hard. And then I'd get a comment, bro, like I would be at my wits end. And then someone would make a comment and I would just be like, fucking pardon, fucking pardon. Yeah, no, it was insane. So let's get into it. I remember when I was bartending, that's when the comments really started because when you're behind a bar, you're like kind of in a fishbowl, everyone's looking at you and I was like very much pregnant. For those who don't know, I'm literally five, two and a half and I have like this much torso. So when I was like heavily pregnant, my belly walked into the room five minutes before I did. Like it was out to here. Like it was literally insane. Well, to bounce off of what I just said, I was huge. I was literally massive, okay? And I had so many older women ask me, are you sure it's not twins? Yes, Susan, I'm sure it's not twins because I've kind of had multiple ultrasounds at this point and there is one baby in there. Just say I'm huge. Just say it. Like, look, if you're gonna be a bitch, don't be passive aggressive about it. Just say it. Am I, girl, <laughs> literally said that. Are you sure you're not having twins? Yes, I'm sure, thank you, moving on. And this one, this one just takes the cake for me. <laughs> oh my God. I was bartending one day, right? And this old biker dude, who might I add, looked more pregnant than I did and had bigger boobs than I did had the audacity to say to me, started out okay, ended off terribly. He goes, oh wow, you are just such a beautiful pregnant woman. It's just so beautiful to see. Your belly is just so beautiful. I'm already feeling uncomfortable, right? But then he continues. He goes, 
let me know when the milk comes in. I had to turn around and walk away. I'm nursing my son right now, also, by the way, speaking of milk, and I have not let him know when the milk came in because it's for my fucking son, not you, you fucking creep ass, bitch ass, weird ass, old man ass, bitch ass. God. <laughs> literally said that to me and I had to turn around and walk away because I wanted to strangle him oh. yeah that was just a couple just a couple of the comments that I got that I can just think of off of the top of my head but then it doesn't stop there like after you have your kid the comments continue like I thought that they would stop like after I was not pregnant anymore because when you're pregnant you you attract a lot of attention because good and bad attention you know good and bad comments as well because there are also the people that are like oh like good luck like you're doing so well like bless your heart you know there are those people I'm just talking about this majority of that generation that has just the fucking out-of-pocket comments so for example just the other day I was walking through the grocery store right and I got two weird comments in one Gro gro grocery shopping experience one person said to me well I know what you were doing last year what was I doing what was I doing hmm how do you not know I had a surrogate bitch like, <laughs> yes thank you Greg thank you Greg yes I've had sex before I'm an adult thanks thanks yeah. But yeah, in the same grocery shopping experience, I had another comment from an older woman who literally said to me, don't you know how that happens? Yes, Martha, I know how that happens. <laughs> uh, like, imagine grocery shopping, okay? Just imagine this for me. You're grocery shopping and you see a mom with her kid. Is the first thing you think of is how she went to pound town a year ago? No, cause you're not weird and you're not creepy. Like what? Like the first thing I think when I see a mom with a kid is I'm like, oh my God, their kid is so fucking cute. And then I like have this little like explosion of happiness on the inside. And then I just want to like pat her on the back and hug her and be like, you're doing so good. Are you okay? Do you want an iced coffee? Do you want a hug? Do you want a fuck? fucking butt massage like I literally like when I see a mom and a mom with her kid I cannot help but have like thoughts of like wow she's badass like fucking kill it fucking slay queen like these are the thoughts I have why are the older generation immediately like you got fucked you got fucked a year ago you're gonna have poopy milk I you want to jink I want to jink it like the older generation is unhinged and they need to stop right now. Just over it, I'm over it. I also have a friend who literally has a note section um, in her phone of comments that she's gotten from people because it has been so extensive for her. Like, why is that even, why is that even possible? Another one of my mom friends tell me that she was at the bank the other day and her kid was screaming and an old lady literally told her if you would she, she said, you know, if you'd beat your kid, he wouldn't do that, right? <gasps> Pardon. Encouraging abuse? Shut up. Like, shut the fuck up. You're joking. And this is why I feel like our generation is like, the ones that are gonna be breaking all these generational curses because like, holy shit, I could never imagine laying my hand on, a, on my son. Laying anything on my son. <laughs> Wooden spoon, who? No. Backhand, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, no. And then just the other day, I was walking into the gym, right? And I had my son and I was carrying him in the carrier because he was still sleeping and I was gonna go take him into daycare nurse him, let him chill in his car seat, you know, and we were having a great day and I was carrying my son into the gym daycare and I passed by this older woman and she goes, man, I don't miss those days. And I was like, I literally said, why? That's weird. 
And she just laughed and walked away. So you don't miss when your child was a baby. Because I don't know about you, but I'm having the time of my life. I love my son. I will never make him feel like a burden. So what, I have to carry him into the gym. I'm going to the gym to lift weights anyways. This is my warm up, Sandy. Like, <laughs> this shit needs to stop. I could go on for hours and hours and hours and hours on all of these examples, but you guys know, please comment down below if you've gotten these weird comments from the prior generations that just absolutely need to stop. We're calling you out, Susan. We're calling you out, Karen. We're calling you out, Beth. All right, we're done. We are done. No more comments, please, and thank you. We're done. Peace out. I hope you appreciate this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know all the weird shit you've heard from the older generations. And comment down below. Please stop. Just please stop. And if you're in the older generation and you got friends that are making weird comments like this, hold them accountable. Be like, stop. Please stop. Anywho, I hope you guys have a great day and I hope you guys are doing just fine. If you're a mom and you gotta go to the grocery store, I'm praying for you. Um, if you're a mom at all and just have to exist in this world, <laughs> I'm praying for you. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you in the next one.